Uh, this model kit review is of the uh, stock car from the movie Days of Thunder and uh, this is the uh, City Chevrolet Lumina stock car. It's a 124 scale model by Monogram. Here we have some pictures of the finished uh, model. That looks pretty cool. Let's have a look over here. Another picture of the model. Some details there. So let's have a look. So first of all here we have our glass, windshield, side glass, all looks really well molded. Here we have our chrome parts and those are uh, nicely molded although they don't really like the chrome too much. Here are our wheels and uh, some engine parts, radiator right down here and grill. And uh, here are our wheels with some serious flashing and mold lines, but uh, easily sanded down. Let's have a look here at our uh, other screws and body. So here is our body, and it's uh, fairly well molded. Good level of detail. Don't see too many mold lines. So here's our chassis with engine mount. And we have some nice detail there. Here's some parts of the frame. Here's our drive shaft. Here we have our uh, bumpers. And we have some of our uh, air hoses, parts of the uh, roll cage, exhaust uh, parts there. Here's the uh, side of the roll cage, here's the left side, the right side, fairly well molded. And some more air hoses and also our uh, exhaust parts. We have our uh, engine block and transmission. We have our suspension parts, here's our rear axle, more suspension parts, as well as our steering column. Pedal boxes over here, stick shift. And other engine parts here, including our belts, steering wheel, suspension, oil pan over here. Over here we have our hood, we have a firewall. This is our firewall down here. And our wheels. Here's our seat. So, over here we have our decals. And they look a little worse for wear. Not, uh... Not really good condition anymore. Even though the paper's a little bit moldy, sometimes the decals will be okay. These ones look a little cracked, so we'll have to see if we can salvage those. Here is the uh, instruction sheet. We start off with our paint colors here. Engine block is assembled. Put all the engine parts together and suspension parts and exhaust parts. And we start to build the uh, chassis with a firewall and the roll cage goes on. Next we have uh, the other parts of the roll cage, steering shaft. Here we have uh, all of our other interior components, including the seat on the other side of the roll cage going on. There's our air hoses. More parts for the inside. Engine is then mounted, and we have uh, our dashboard and steering assembly that's then mounted. Next, we have uh, supports here for the windshield, and uh, suspension is now being built. And then, uh, remaining parts for the uh, looks like for the engine. And drive shaft, the radiator is then mounted yeah, on the inside. And some more hoses. And uh, suspension parts going on there. Here our wheels are going on. And uh, then we mount the uh, glass and uh, bumpers for the body. Remaining glass goes on, the body is then mounted to the chassis, and uh, then our hood. 
So, here's the painting and decal guide. This is an older model kit. Uh, reasonably good details there for this older kit. Uh, molding quality is okay. Decals would be okay, but I think that uh, these ones got a little moldy.